Our special correspondent, Bobby Mayer, went through months of hostile environment training in preparation for this next report. He's gone deep undercover in the power elite stronghold of Chipping Norton, Oxfordshire. Bobby, why? Well, Sam, after the atrocious attacks in Paris, we found out about an area in Belgium where many attackers were radicalized. But that's not the only hotbed of extremism. Here in a small corner of Oxfordshire, David Cameron, Jeremy Clarkson, and a Murdoch are living. I wanted to see how the local inhabitants are coping. A lot of dangerous top Tories and their friends live nearby. Does that worry you? Well, Mr. Cameron does, yeah, yeah. just down the road from us. Yeah. Are you worried about... No, we don't worry about it, no. He's... It's like Ronnie Barker used to live just up the road here, and we used to never took no notice of him. What do you do to fight against that influence? Uh, it's a fight against that. Well, uh, during the uh, the election before last, I live right next door to the village hall where um, Mr. Cameron cast his vote. So we put up a Liberal Democrat sign. I mean, it didn't do any good, but you know. <laughs> Have you ever seen David Cameron in your local co-op? Nope. Or Weatherspoons? Nope. In Sainsbury's? Um, yes, m m many times I've come come around the corner. I've seen him in Sainsbury's. Yes? Yeah. Another guy said that. He seems to really like Sainsbury's. Mm, I think, yeah, he does a lot of shopping in Sainsbury's. Yeah, what, have, have you seen what he shops for? Salads, salad, lettuce. The problem is these, these people, they're forced, these men were forced into these radicalizing boarding schools at a young age. They're cut off from their parents and they just learn to just care about each other. Mm. Would you send your children to one of these Tory training camps? I wouldn't actually, no, I wouldn't, for my children, I want the best, really, but... Um, you don't want your children to have a lot of money and no empathy? I wouldn't call them a Tory training camp. I would think that, I mean, you're talking about a um, class system that has been in existence in this country for four or five hundred years. Would you send your children to one of these Tory Strangely, I would. training camps? Strangely, I would. The Tories are trying to cut tax credits to the NHS and get rid of immigrants. If they don't like Britain, don't you think they should just leave? Tories? Yes. Yeah, yeah, they can they can clear right off. Yeah, where should yeah, they yeah, go? Absolutely. Back. Absolutely. They should crawl back under little stones and toadstools, I think. <laughs> yeah. Where they belong. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's a debatable, isn't it? Yeah, a debatable point, that is. I'm not answering that. No, we will leave it like that. <laughs> Powerful stuff there. Bobby, how do we know you weren't radicalised out there like Damien Lewis in the first series of preposterous spy drama Homeland? Sam, that's ridiculous. I'm not now a card-carrying Tory. However, this will be my last week at News Thing as I'm moving back to Canada. I just think it's what's best for this country. Well, goodbye and good luck, Bobby.